just wanted to show my solution I kind of came up with um, to fixing a broken futon frame. Um, as you can see here, these have totally broken off. They're supposed to be like the ones down here that are attached, but just throughout the years of sitting on it, um, started to cave in. So you can kind of see um, got it down a bit. So, um, anyways, I found some 50 foot rope. And uh, so, how I start off is I tie one end, like over here to one side, and then I go like in and then out, and then in this one, and then out, kind of like basket weaving. Um, and then when I get to an end, I loop it around once, and then I continue um, under a bar, and then over, under, and over, like that, all the way down. And then to kind of give it some extra strength, I go back again, like backwards, um, and I do the opposite. Like right here, like say if I went over this one first, or on the first pass, from right to left. Um, the second pass, uh, when coming back from left to right, I would do the opposite of, of the, like this bar. I would go under it and then over. Um, that way it kind of gives extra stability to those bars. So I'll show you what it looks like, I guess, in the upright position. Alright, and here it is finished. Um, and it is easier to weave it sideways than like this, so you don't string your back. I'll show you what, what rope I got and where I got it from. So the rope I picked up, um, it's called Utility Line. And what's nice about this um, is that it's, um, I don't know if you can see, but when it's rot and mildew resistant. Um, and also UV rays. Um, I think this is mainly used for like boats, but it does the trick because you want a sturdy enough rope. You don't want like a really light one. Like I used this one first of all, and it was just really light. It's kind of like that birthday party pinata rope. And it, I just kind of added it in there as my first rope. Um, also because that one was, it's this side's worse than that one. So to give it, I guess, that little tiny bit of extra um, strength. Or, if you'd like, you could also put uh, blocks of wood, like, underneath, or whatever. Um, I just wanted to save some money. And this rope was, it came to, like, six bucks. So, you know, it was an easy fix. Um, took some time, about an hour to do. Or maybe a little less if you're quick and you're used to doing this kind of stuff. So, if you want to save some money, I definitely suggest this. It's a great method instead of having to buy a whole new frame that, that could be up towards to like a hundred or so dollars I found online so yep alright thanks for watching and hope you like it uh, see you guys later